Okay, so let's take a look at how to navigate around the viewport. What I have in front of me here is the scene viewport and I can maximize this viewport just by hovering my mouse over it and pressing the spacebar on the keyboard. And there it is maximized and I can press spacebar again to restore it. Now there are several different methods of navigating this viewport so that we can get a good look at the different things in the level here. One of the simplest ways is by having a look through the hierarchy panel, just selecting the object that we want to find. So let's say I want to find this robot arm object here, and I can double click on that. And when I do that, the level just suddenly zooms in on the object that we found, which is here. So I can see that object in the viewport. Of course, there are other ways. For example, there is the pan mode. I can activate that by ensuring that the pan tool is selected up here on the toolbox. With that selected, I can just click and drag inside the viewport to just drag the view around. So that really uh, allows us to slide around the level and see different things. Now I can also zoom in or dolly the camera using the mouse scroll wheel. So I just rotate the scroll wheel up to zoom in and I rotate the scroll wheel down to zoom out. So I can zoom in and out like so. I also have rotation. Now I can access rotation by holding down the right mouse button and with that held down I just click and drag the mouse. So hold down the right mouse button on the mouse and just move the mouse around and suddenly we can rotate in the scene here. So I can still apply these controls with the maximized viewport, so I'll press spacebar and I can still right click and hold down the mouse button and rotate around. Now we also have a very useful operation called framing. Let's just uh, change to the transformation tool. Now with this tool active I am able to start selecting things in the viewport. So for example, let's say I'm going to select this small robot here. Now if I wanted to get a good view of this robot and to be able to rotate around him and examine him, I can, with this object selected, press the F key on the keyboard. This will frame the object in the viewport. And now if I zoom in and out using the mouse, I can get a much better and centered view on that object that I have framed. Now for example I could select a completely different object, let's select these crates down here, I can select these, press F on the keyboard to frame this and I can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out on that object. Now once I have framed an object using the F key, I can rotate around it by holding down the ALT key on the keyboard. With the ALT key held down you will notice that the icon up here changes to this rotation orbit mode and I can hold down the left mouse button and with that held down I can click and drag the mouse around. So that's holding down the ALT key on the keyboard and the left mouse button on the mouse while dragging the mouse and I can rotate around the object that is framed. There is also the first person control mode and the way this works is I hold down the right mouse button and with the right mouse button held down I can use the W, A, S and D keys on the keyboard to get a kind of first person view and completely navigate through the level here so I'm now just wandering around the level in first person mode. And that's really a kind of a neat way to get a close look at the level that you are creating. So that's a brief rundown on the viewport navigation controls for the viewport in Unity.